doing a little bit of painting. Make sure my audio is good. I'm not sure. Crank everything up here. Be right back. place to clip my microphone it'll be a little closer I'll just clip it on here for now that should be fine to start <clears throat> get good volume talk nice and quiet don't need to be shouting here all right I'm starting off today building a few birds These are like crossbowmen, but I uh, I only really want to <laughs> only really want to build the birds right now. So I'm gonna check the instructions. Actually, <clears throat> this is my first unit of Vanguard Raptors. Let's see. Ooh, uh, tired today. Three birds, three crossbow guys. These look simple to build. One, two, three, four, five, and a base. All right, easy. Assuming I can find the pieces. I'm assuming they're one of the other ones. These guys look a little fiddly. They got some very tiny claws and bits of wood here. It's gonna take me a long time to get to the actual Vanguard Raptors, the Vanguards themselves, but I really wanna build the birds because they look like they'll be fun and easy to paint when I need a break from burning my eyes out with white armor. Damn, that is a lot of attachments. They also look like they're probably pretty easy to build here. One, here's part of the bird, two. Oh god. Why would they do this to me? I can't really see here. How do you get this out without breaking those claws off? Just ever so delicately. Alright, success. One, two, three. One, two. Three. Oh, my thing's a little further up here. Three. I just build one bird right now and then do some painting. I really want to finish off these annihilators so I can carry on onto the next projects. One, two, three, four. Got a lot of stormcast lined up. Seems like the building will. Um, I could take the camera angle a little better for. This is like a good camera angle for painting, but I think for building it has got to be just a little bit further back or something. Maybe like this. Then you can see the actual scraping and building area here. Actually, this may even be a better angle for painting, except it's gonna be really close. Let's see, example here. Yeah, it might actually be okay, we'll see. No, I need the higher angle for painting, but whatever, it's fine. Let's grab my tools here.
these are going to be really easy to assemble. Well, at the very least, they're going to be very easy to uh, clean the mold lines off of because it's all edge mold line. Hmm, I'm going to do this without slicing myself. Easier said than done sometimes. I like to start with a little bit of building. Keeps things varied, you know? Either building or like basing or something, and then I'll switch over to painting a bit. A little bit of variety going on. Now cleaning these up and assembling them without breaking off these tiny claws will probably be easier said than done. Look how fiddly that is. Crazy. Same with the ribbons. Build one bird today. Hopefully finish the Annihilator I've been working on and then I can get on to the other two. They've really been dragging on. One, two, three. I'm missing a piece of this tree. One, two, three, four. Am I? Five. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. Nicely laid out sprues. Hurricane crossbows and long strikes. But realistically only the long strikes because I don't think the hurricanes are that useful. The range is kind of short. Hmm, goddamn. These are definitely fiddly. What to do with this? I think I lay it down flat like this just to. Hot damn, dude. It's crazy. Some of these pieces they make so small that I don't know what you're realistically supposed to do with them. A few tiny mold lines to clean up. And honestly, these aren't as bad as the Sylvaneth look. For assembly. Those things look like you just snap parts off left and right while you're assembling them. Oops. Yo, how do, how do, what up, what up, what up? Yo, can you hear me all right? Mm -hmm. 
sick. I got the mic clipped on here. Even when I'm talking quietly. Sweet, perfect. Oh, uh, here. Hold this side here. I'm building one tiny bird right now, and then I'm gonna go paint for a bit. I'll paint some, uh, just keep working on the model I was working on yesterday. I improved my camera angle a little bit. Um, This is just like the building camera. I, get, I got a better angle for painting as well. Um, I just have it a little bit closer, a little more forward facing. Most of these don't need mold line removal. I mean, you could say that these feathers need to have mold lines removed, but like gentle scrape along there pretty much covers it, I think. Not really that much on there to take off. This has a little bit, but not too much. here maybe I miss there. <laughs> There's one half of a bird right there. Yeah, like two thirds of a bird. This one I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't even really need anything. Some of them that have such fine mold lines, it's like not a big deal, but I'll do a little bit here. So be very calm and gentle with these ones because they're uh, extremely delicate pieces. No, like, Pepe smashing the model while I do this. Using my large ape-like hands. What is this? Is that a f supposed to be a fold in the ribbon or is that an actual mold line that covers the face? I'm going to treat it like a mold line. I don't really like that very much either way. That is actually a fold, whatever. That's fine. And like the front facing fold. That's a mold line in there. Christ.
That one going here, beauty. <clears throat> Alright, getting there. That's good enough, honestly. These ones don't need to be super perfect. <coughs> Too thrilled about these trees. Strange little mold lines in here. But the good thing with stuff like trees is if you really screw something up, it's like, yeah. Natural texture, you know. Hey, how's it going, dude? How's your day going? Sorry, I didn't see your message there, uh, Crankster1. Just doing some, uh, yeah, chill Saturday afternoon building and painting today. Look at that camera angle a little bit of there. There you go. Get closer. Just putting together a bird right now and then uh, gonna paint some annihilators. Finish these guys off. Let's see if I can get that angle. There we go. The camera, the zoom isn't very good on this. I'm using my phone as a camera so the autofocus is kind of kind of iffy sometimes you know. And these Vanguard Raptors are, uh, well, the birds, I see, are the ether wings. Very fiddly little models. I did not realize until I started actually clipping them out. Looking at the sprue. Man, look how, like, tiny some of these little parts are. I literally snapped those off in an instant. One mistake. Let's see, uh... Back in the instructions here. One, two, three, four, and five go together and they all go down, sure. A little test fit here. Looks fine. Get a little extra glue in there. I'll check this one. Forward face? Yeah. 
to just clip a little bit more plastic off here to get that to fit tight. There we go. Gotta get a better grip on this, holy. Goofy, fiddly little birds, eh? But, neat models. I'm looking forward to painting these ones. I like painting feathers and stuff like that. Just generally things that have texture and stuff. glue in there just to make sure that it really seals up not too much oh I'm uh, a little bit out of camera here goes yeah, let's try it out here seems fine So we get a somewhat sufficient amount of glue there. Squish that down, look at that, easy. I think. <laughs> but not easy figuring out how this guy goes on here. Hmm. Is it this? I think I get it. One more, one more look at the guide here, the, the uh, instructions. Hmm. I think it's this. That kind of looks right. Yeah, that's gotta be right, man. The pain. Do a little extra glue all around there, just in case. We can melt that mold line down with some glue. That's right. Wow, pretty small points of contact. Oh, Christ, this one's gonna be a pain. I can already tell. Like really small points of contact here. It's very thin. Maybe it's not too bad, actually. I just gotta hold it for a second. Hold it without like absolutely mangling any part of the model, which is easier said than done. But hey, look at that. That's not bad at all. We are chilling. One bird. Bird acquired. <sighs> I 
Alright. Alright, I've done my building. I'll bring this up just a little bit. Improve the angle for painting here. I'm just filling with my camera a little bit. There we go. How's this for painting? Not quite. Unless I move over just a little bit. This actually needs to be out a little bit like this. Slight rotation. I think we're good. That's fine. Focus is a little bit weird, but I think that's okay there. Random tools, I'm just gonna put here for now because I'll need them later. Now, what part of this am I working on next? I think I'm... Breaking out the bright neutral gray again. Not too much right now. Let's move the bird over so I don't absolutely like smash it while I'm painting. Okay. I'll try and keep it in view while I'm painting. I'm still not used to having a camera here. I feel like I want to move it down just a tad, like that. <clears throat> That's pretty good. First thing I do is just clean up this leg a tiny bit before I start actually blending the highlights up. Down slightly, let's see. How's that? Oh, it's still, yeah. I made it just lean forward a little bit. this and see it needs to be higher than give me a second this is as tilt as I can make it for now give me a second like that yeah, that's the most it can be. It's gonna maybe get out of frame a little bit, but it's just the way it is, I think. I think I can do is maybe rotate it a little bit like that to keep more of it in frame. Or like this. I'm limited just by the sheer amount of space that my camera has. Like it doesn't have a lot of, it's not a super good camera. Move that over a little bit like that. And we can do this. I think this will be okay. We'll try this. Like if I'm up close, it's going to be. Yeah, it just is what it is. I think this is fine. Still out of frame, eh? There we go. I think I just have to lean forward more. Just a little bit of awkwardness to painting with a camera, I think. It's gonna bop out of frame occasionally. Paint 
tractor in there. That's fine. Unless it's like completely overhead, it doesn't really like, like the only thing I can do is like this, but then it's like really close. Maybe this is okay. That'll at least keep it a little bit more in frame. Oh, and I can actually look at it while I'm painting too. Maybe that's not bad. See how this is. Trying to clean up all these leg plates just a little bit. The hair in the paint, like a brush fiber or something. <laughs> That's fun. Scrape that off and repaint that. Go a little bit thicker here. on there? No, it wasn't hurt. Give me a second here. Yeah, I'll just repaint that. It's just a little bit of metal under, metal color under there, a little bit of metallics. Can always repaint something if you make a little mistake. No big deal. Cool. Yeah, that's fine for now. All right. I've been like dreading doing the front part of this leg because it's a huge pain to get the highlights in here, but I think I'll just go for it. <sighs> I need to take a more transparent white. It's annoying. This stuff like goes runny real quick on the palette. I'm actually going to dab this one up and just go over top of it. Sat out overnight and this one just, it doesn't hold up overnight if I leave it on the wet palette set these as little as possible so I don't waste too much of it. Pro Krill stuff is not that cheap, you know, it's like seven bucks a bottle or six bucks a bottle or something. A little bit of a thicker blob of bold titanium white too, just a fresh one because I use a thinned out stuff for glazing. Oh, you can't see my, uh, you can't see my wet palette anymore, that's fine. I had the angle so that the wet palette was in view, but I think just too hard to keep like full painting in view and the wet palette. So wider angle cam would be better, but just working with what I got here. Let's see the water here. So something like this probably. Goal is to do this without screwing anything up too, too bad. A little gray around here and then just blend this in a little, so sort of wet blend it a little. And then I'll just glaze it to, it's mostly over here that I want it to be blended down.
And a little bit back here, maybe, just towards this edge. That's fine. Looks goofy at first, but slowly cleans up as I do this. Let's let that dry for a second. Actually, I got a little bit more water here. I want to just get that a little bit wetter and get that blend just a little bit smoother. This is not going to be using like a whole, going to be a lot of white paint in there, that's for sure. A lot of these like crevices, I'm just not even going to bother highlighting. They're just like hidden in there, hard to see anyway. But this kind of exposed leg plate, so I at least want it to be somewhat. Like that. And just the high points here. And maybe just along there down at the bottom. Then also edge highlight here. there it's like super watery because it's been sitting out all night but it's actually kind of useful for yeah for doing some of these glazes it's really like smoothing some of these out a little bit Maybe out of the camera here, sorry. Gotta get the right angle for this. Hard to keep it in the camera sometimes. Trying to smooth that out a little bit. All right. Eventually, going to get a better angle. Just all around better camera, better laptop angle, you know. Maybe a higher quality laptop that works, but for now, on the budget. Ah, oh, shit, that's too much. That's all right. Soak it up. Doesn't matter. It's very watered. These are just glazes anyway, so. Trying to get a better view of this. I have to listen out of the camera real quick while I'm doing this. Just give me a second here.
Hey, thanks, dude. <laughs> Just doing some uh, some Warhammer here. How's your day going? This is, eh, this one's kind of fiddly, but I need a little bit more actual white, white paint here to fill in some of this. Some of these plates, I wonder, these like more recessed leg plates, I'm always wondering if it's like worth it to even highlight them up. Probably is. It's just so fiddly. I'm always afraid I'm gonna like totally screw up the, uh, surrounding gold I'm a little heavy on the way here All right, I gotta I gotta get this part real bright nice thick coating here One little thing here. Uh, that's good there. <laughs> oh wow, that's blurry. Holy. Man, I definitely I'm gonna have to figure out the camera setup. The phone is okay, but my phone's real cheap. It's not a good phone. Um, so the autofocus isn't good and the camera is not super good. Like it focuses out here, but if I get it up close, I don't think that's, uh, oh, you know, I can get some focus up close. It's also just really hard to actually see the different shades of white on camera because a lot of like sort of grayscale and stuff like that. <laughs> this here and I'm just gonna smooth this out a little bit it says transparent white pro acryl transparent white it's still not sure how I like it but it does seem to be good for doing like really lazy looking blends and gradients <clears throat> kind of goes on like white glue sort of thick and gooey for some reason odd paint start with that I may come back to that leg plate later can't can't help myself from fiddling with the uh, models I was like make some coffee I have returned what am I going next I guess I gotta clean up the back plates a little bit and the back of the legs. I'm gonna do the most annoying part first, which is uh, here uh, under his back plate here. The whole back plate in general is kind of annoying, but. Clean these lines up just a little bit. Doesn't need to be too crazy, honestly. So much of this stuff is hidden away, this detail. But any of these exposed lines, I generally like to be clean, like the ones along here. Oh God, I have to like prop this somehow. There we go, that's a little better. I 
Not bad there. Is that there's like something on there? Give me a second. I'm back to the like monkey scraping tool here. The so annoying. Generally, I won't scrape a lot of the paint as well, but I want that off there before it dries. If I have like something that I have to scrape up. Okay. I just even this line out just a tad. It's looking pretty good there. Oh. <laughs> Weird edge there. Yeah, I'm fairly satisfied with that. I can keep fiddling, but. That's fine. Side there could be worse, could definitely be worse. I don't remember having such a hard time with annihilators the first time. I think that's because I was being faster and like more careless. The very first storm cast I paint, there were annihilators and uh. I felt like they went like super fast, those big white armor plates, like everything like great big armor. Easy, but now I think I've gotten more meticulous. And it takes a lot longer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go, beautiful. Yeah, I know. It just comes in and out of camera, there's not much I can do about it. There's sometimes I just have to like reposition the model to in a way that it can be like the way that I can see if the camera can't see it uh, not much to be done about that certain angles like I can only get off camera I just don't have a wide enough angle only thing I can do is move a little bit closer basically there so now I'm off the opposite direction yeah I'll keep fiddling with the camera angle it's something that's gonna take a little bit of practice probably it's an additional component you know
I think that back is starting to look okay. Thin that side a little bit. There we go. All right. Do my best not to mangle all this. This black lining takes a long time to do, and. Uh, I always get like so nervous when I'm cleaning up the edges on it because like one mess like early on I'll say that there was a lot of like do the black do the gray do the white oh shit screwed something up do the black again do the gray again do the white again it takes forever to get these lines clean I think I'm getting better at it but definitely still screw them up sometimes Sort of happy with that for now. I can always fiddle with it again later if I'm not. This one's nice and easy because I'm just going to edge highlight this. I'm not doing any glazing or anything on this. Um, get a better grip here. Nice edge highlight there. Uh, paint's already thinning out a little. wet palette is starting to take its toll. I think I need to like get some different parchment paper or something because it uh, sometimes it feels like the the wet palette wets the paint a little bit too much. Um, the one that, just the with this parchment. I had some really good thick parchment. I think it was a Costco parchment before but we ran out. this I have to really be careful not to get it too just not to get too much paint on the brush that's fine like that and I can just go right along there like that am I out of the camera I'm out of the camera aren't I yep there we go and then the most stressful part of this whole thing is just doot doot Do a couple of white dots on those, on those uh, bolts or whatever they are, rivets in his armor. All right, that part's done. These, I just do something like this. Just the edge, basically. like that just like the largest section of that these parts here are actually not too difficult to do they just there's a lot of room to screw up the uh, a lot of room to screw up the already painted stuff Christ I gotta get the right angle for this too that's another annoying part I'll try and get it in the camera here while I'm doing this but no guarantees. Just about up to there, and then maybe just a little more here. Maybe just a little bit higher, too. Bit of an odd pose. Hardest part for me with this is just figuring out exactly where to put the highlights. I think the technique I don't find too difficult, like just like like brush control and stuff. I've always been pretty good at that, but I'm not like artistically inclined, so I don't just see something and understand how it would look in the real world. 
to sit and like look at a lot of examples, look at how other people might paint this kind of stuff, or sometimes just guess and either get it wrong or whatever, you know, get it right next time. It doesn't need to be perfect anyway. to keep it in the camera but don't know if I will always be able to hmm. oh shit that's a thick paint I got some thinned out white here that I'm using for glazing and then some thicker thicker white that I'm just using for regular painting That's fine, honestly. It doesn't really need much more than that. One thing I did goof here, though, is that, oh, Christ, I'm full of black paint, all right? I just need to get a tiny bit. Hmm. A little bit of black right up top there. In a second, I use a slightly bigger brush just so I can get a little more paint down. Hmm. That's not quite right. Yeah, that'll look good. All right, those are done. <sighs> Put that down for a second, get a little more coffee. spill coffee all over my laptop it's like gray I'm basically just gonna work my way up but I got a few things I gotta touch up over here Christ why is this so whatever I'm using the coal black for like all the darkest black lines and I use this dark warm gray for like the actual uh, just things that are like shadowed but not uh, shadowed but not completely recessed you know it's like sort of like bigger shadows and stuff like that some stuff that might be like partially exposed I'm not doing a lot of like blending between the shadows I like the shadows look kind of sharp that's just like personal preference I think I like really sharp shadows and sharp lines in the armor, at least for these guys. <clears throat> Makes sort of an interesting look, like really high contrast or something. I don't know. Clean these shadows up a little bit more. These back plates are definitely one of the ones that I will sometimes go over four or five times just trying to get them right, you know? <clears throat> or just trying to get them clean. <laughs> the amount of times I'll screw these up is actually comical sometimes. Like just there, god damn it. Whatever, that's getting an edge highlight anyway, so I'm not gonna spend too much effort on it, but. Son of a bitch. That's all right. Get a little bit more gray down here. It's just this bottom part. That's fine though. I can deal with that. This is kind of sloppy anyway. Sometimes if you go faster, you do it a little bit cleaner. I find my hand starts to shake if I try and go too slow. I 
I can clean all this up down here though. This is all gonna be probably gonna be white. I'm actually gonna grab my other annihilators and take a look at how I did it for them. Cause I'm never really sure what to do on these plates anyways, like on these back parts. Let's be right back. Here's one of the other annihilators that I've done. This is a finished one. This was one of the very first ones I did. First storm cast that I painted. Hmm, this is not super helpful, you know, because first of all, this was one of the first storm casts I painted, so I wasn't very good at painting this white armor back then. Second of all, I don't even know if I would do it this way now. I think I'll just try and make the center brightest and then like edge highlight that and then just have like a little bit of gray in there for whatever just for effect who knows I'll just wing it it's like 80% of what I'm doing anyways how did I do the chest yeah I'll just mirror the chest plate I think I think I'll just do this oh god uh, slosh paint everywhere that's what I'll do that's fun didn't make a huge mess. Nice and watery. A little bit more here. Probably shouldn't be using like the colossal brush for this, but whatever. Get a little bit of this here. Something like this, and then just blend that together. I need a little bit more white up top here. Not really sure about making these like white all the way around the top, but I always kind of just go and then get more and more carried away with them as I do. I think I'll just go something like this and then I'll edge highlight the bottom. I'll uh, glaze that out to make it a little bit more. A um, little bit more even once this dries and then just a little bit more white along here. I think the angle for these is going to be white towards the center of the model and towards the top. Despite there being a little bit of a lip on this gold thing, I don't think that matters too much. I try not to think about realism too much because if I do, I just confuse myself, you know? Hmm. Ooh, it's getting a little choppy. I can't, oh wow, a little bit of camera leg there. Something like that. It's this IP webcam thing, you know? My phone's plugged in, right? Yeah, cool. So let me make sure my phone is plugged in. Should be. Beautiful. Uh, what do we got going on here? All right. When I'm wet blending. I like to go pretty thick layer here and then. Always add a little bit more if it's not going the way you like. Give in here, I can add a little bit more. Despite that already having been blended. More white down here. I think I'm gonna try that for these guys. Just sort of like a, almost like a C shape on these back plates. And then I'll just, this part I just, do a little bit, just the highest points, basically. All right, now I can start glazing once this dries. Smooth it out, and then I'll do edge highlight, and then, yeah. Actually, I'll edge highlight it first, just so I have a better sense of how everything is gonna be.
just a tiny little edge down here. Like that. I think that's okay like that. I think this part here doesn't really need to be highlighted, but we'll see. I may, I may highlight it later if I'm feeling like it. Feeling like it needs it, you know? Hmm, maybe I'll just go all the way around here. Basically, just grab a little bit of this super thin white here. It's a little bit too much there, but so I can spread it out and then just start glazing up and around here towards the highest points. Take a few coats of this, honestly, to get it smooth. Spreading the tiniest little bit of pigment there. And then always going from where you want it to be the thinnest to the thickest, I think. All the way up there. And here. Let that dry for a second because I'm going to have to come back and do a few more coats here. Yeah, I'll see if I'm happy with this new, how this looks. Take a look at this guy. There's absolutely no way you can be able to see on stream the difference between the, the very light gray and the white, but I'm just checking these out, kind of using my old one for a reference. Hmm. Almost feel like I did it backwards. In fact, I'm all sure I did it backwards, so I may have to redo it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I screwed it up, whatever. Learning experience. Learning experience. Part of the process of figuring out how things are supposed to look. Let's see. A little bit more here. Another glaze to smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, this may actually be okay. Maybe I think glazing towards, or I mean, sorry, just highlighting towards the center of the model is better anyways than highlighting towards the edges. More of this here. Move a little bit of that pigment over while it's still wet. Mm, that's the wrong bit of paint there. A little bit more of this. So just trying to get a smooth blend here and then I'll probably go back to the gray and just get that sense of a little bit more gray once this is looking a little bit smooth. Then I'll do a coat of transparent white on the whole thing just to hide any <laughs> hide my mistakes. Any strange mistakes or uneven blends or whatever. still have trouble sometimes with the consistency of the paint when I'm glazing. I'm definitely improving, but uh, sometimes I feel like I just get like way too much water. I should probably be using like uh, medium or something instead of water. I've heard medium can help with that, but uh, I don't have any medium right now. I had a bottle, but I ran out a while back, but that was before I even knew what glazing was. 
I was just using it to like uh, make my paints last longer. <laughs> Keep going with that. Still not entirely happy with this. Um, I'm gonna just get a little bit of gray here. Mix that up. Really thin it out here and then just go towards the middle with this just to smooth this whole area off a little. I think the gray was, there's like some darker color poking through already from before, before I did this gray, so it was a little bit uneven to begin with. Let's see how that looks. Guess I'll let that dry for a bit before I take a look at it. Sometimes the uh, color changes a little bit as it dries I find. It's easier to see once it's like fully fully dry uh, than just partially dry. So I'll start cleaning some of these up a little because a few goofy a few goofy plates in here. Oh I'm, I'm way off the camera here. Jesus. A little more light here. A few goofy little areas in here that I gotta work on. Oh, I just noticed. I forgot about this. There's a little bit in here where the white, or the gray, I should say, is spilling into the black line. And this is going to be one of these things where I end up redoing it like eight times. Possibly. That could have gone worse. All right. Success. Oops, tiny bit of fiddling I'll have to do, but just to clean up the gray there, under there. I don't know if you can see, probably not. It's a black line in these, these weird shoulder plate things. Um, it is just a little uneven. Same with the one on this shoulder plate. I don't know if this is in the camera. I'm not checking right now. No. Anyway, these I can, not that hard to clean up really. Unless you make a colossal mess of it, as I have done. But nah, it's not too bad. It's mostly shaded anyway, no one's gonna see it. very gently yet again still working on this blend smoothing it out but it's getting there this i'm actually going to just a little bit more down there and up here Oh my God, I got so much on there. Ah, soak it up, soak it up. It's an emergency. I think I'll use, uh, I think that, that paint that I'm, I've been using for my uh, glaze is starting to get a little bit too thin. It's just like not covering quite enough. 
a fine balancing act when you're glazing white over gray. The paint gets too thin, it doesn't cover it all. Too thick, it just totally screws the gray up. And it just all ends up looking white anyway. All right, I think I'm generally happy with that. Let's see, one more on this side. I'm honestly probably gonna end up coming back to these. Sometimes I, I come back to them the next day after I've had time to like think on like how I wanna do the highlights or whatever and just fiddle with them. <laughs> fiddle with them endlessly. All right. Hmm. I can still smooth those out a little bit. Hard to tell on the camera. Camera catches light a little bit weird, but I can hopefully still smooth those out a little. A bit more water in there. Dry some of that out. I'm just using the bigger brush at this point. Giving up on using the tiny brush for the time being. All right, Let's see how that looks with a coat of uh, transparent white on it. Just let it dry for a second. coffee you know you playing Tarkov right now Oscar and uh, <laughs> might be in a raid. Oh God, oh no, there's a thread. Oh, God damn it, dude. God damn it. What was in there? Is there a fiber from my brush? Jesus. We'll get out of there. Oh, thank God. All right, crisis averted. This is just transparent white, pro acryl, nice and smooth. Creates a real fake smooth blend here. I just makes the gray look a little bit less gray and a little bit more white if I just cover the whole thing with it. It doesn't really seem to affect the actual white white that much. But I need to get that layer a little bit thinner. Or not thinner, just 
better situated here. These whole uh, models are all getting glazed, or not glazed, sorry. Um, Christ, I'm getting like threads in my, I'm trying to clean the brush. It might be dust floating down, weird little tiny fibers. I'll just move this a little bit more towards the white area. Eh, eh. <sighs> it looks okay for now. I'll come back to it later. Sometimes I take another stab at these a little later on. It's coming together though. With a better camera, you'd be able to tell what I'm actually working on, which is the white plates, but you know, you know. The colors are all there too. I really want to paint this little bird guy soon, but I gotta, I gotta prime, or I gotta, yeah, I gotta prime him. <laughs> I got a bunch of ether wings from uh, a box of long strikes, so I just built this guy earlier. Have fun painting griff hounds, and uh, I'm definitely excited to paint some ether wings as well. I like all the funny stormcast bird creatures. What am I gonna do next? I think I'll finish off the back plate and then take a break, like the uh, the under part here. There's not too much to do here, thankfully. This is just like a high point deal here up the middle. Try not to absolutely flood out that weird triangle thing with bright white. And then a little bit up here. Where light might be like reflecting off that a little bit or something. And a little bit on this side. Wouldn't be painting Knights Excels here without accidentally sloshing white paint all over the colored parts that I've already painted. Hmm. Yeah, I think from there I just, uh, I'm not doing any type of like wet blending on this part. I'm just gonna do like a weird sort of half glaze thing to smooth this out a little bit bring this up a little, then edge highlight, and then just call it on, on this part, and then same with this. This part needs to be just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> holy, it's so hard to like remember to stay in the camera. <laughs> I'm not, uh, it's only my third or fourth painting stream, so my camera work is definitely not uh, expert level here, you know? One thing to sit around and bunga and escape from Tarkov with a camera on. Never need to move, but uh, painting, I actually need to focus on where I am relative to the camera. That's kind of weird. Do this. Oh, out of the camera again. Either that or just like completely obscuring the model with my hands. Another timeless classic right there. Man, too watery. Yeah, my glazing pile on my palette is getting too watery. I have to go back to my normal paint pool of paint.
This shit's going to be some stuff that I'm going to be fiddling with this back plate for goddamn hours, let me tell you. Oh, I'm just going to do the back plate and then take a break and then I'm going to be here for all afternoon doing this. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm having a good time. Stay in here. It's like we're trying to slowly build up layers here. This. Yes. I always kind of struggle with these parts. Odd shapes, stuff like that. I don't worry too much though, because at the end of the day, it's gonna look cool one way or the other, because the models are excellent. If there's one thing Games Workshop does well, it's their models, that's for sure. I haven't really played Age of Sigmar, but I've played a lot of Underworlds. Well, I've played some Underworlds, and it's been pretty fun so far. Definitely been enjoying the Underworlds. I am absolutely struggling with this, uh, with this, getting this smoothed out. Maybe I should have wet blended it. Maybe I still will wet blend it. Just a little bit, just a, just a, just a little line here. And then just a little bit of white here and then smooth that out. Look at that, that's way better. Ish. <laughs> we'll see. I'm still really learning how to properly apply a lot of these techniques. Difficult, that's for sure. Look at that. I wet that out a little bit. Kind of getting there. To think about where I'm going to put the next part here. Yeah, sure. Use this like ultra thin white paint that I got over here again. Totally hooped. Oh shit, that thin white paint has got the fibers in it. I wonder if some dust settled in my paint. 
overnight. I put the lid on my uh, pallet, but. We see like random little dusty looking bits in here. Don't like that very much at all. I think I gotta stop using that paint. Sat out too long, acquired dust. Pretty dusty in our apartment. Oh man, I'm out of the camera again. I think what I want to do under here is right underneath these, I want to just do like a gray because in theory there would not be much light hitting that or at least not as much light. And then I'll clean up the dark, dark shadow yet again for like the eighth time, which is also fine. Yeah, just gotta clean that shadow up a little bit. Damn, my wet pal is just, ugh, I need new parchment. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pulling way too much water up. I got some cheap parchment from the Japanese dollar store nearby and it's been like okay, but it definitely pulls like way too much water into the paint. So maybe a little too porous or something or, not sure. Seems I have to be quick, or else my paint gets real, uh, real watery. Leave the lid off of it too, so it doesn't, uh, so it dries out a little bit. If I put the lid on, it gets like way too runny. And this quick little scoot along here. Clean that up just a little bit. Try and get back in the camera here.
Mm. Really gotta pinch my hands together here for this. Mm. Better angle. Like this. Really stabilize for this. Hey, look at that, nice and smooth. That also nice and smooth, and now I just have to correct this one edge here. Actually, a couple of these, I just want to get a nice thick highlight on the edges here. And I'll probably come back and do just one or two more glazes on these later once it's like fully dried and I can see how it looks. All right, that's coming along all right. Whew, okay, um, there is uh, like 70% complete Annihilator, I think. Um, all I have left is his helmet. I gotta do these white plates under the arms. I have to just clean up the back a little bit. Um, gotta do the wrists and arms and everything, and then just these backs of the legs, which don't take too long, because these are pretty like round. Round plates are fairly easy to pick up. Oh, easy, fairly easy to pick up the highlights on. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress here. I'm going to take a little break. Um, I might paint later. I'm not sure I might stream later. Um, if anyone's watching, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you coming to watch me paint and hang out. And uh, yeah, if you're enjoying it, hit that follow button. I'll be streaming quite a bit, painting a lot of Knights Excelsior. I got Retributors. I got Birds. I got some Storm Drakes over there. I got like, I have like 50. 50 models that well maybe not 50 like solid 30 that i built that i have uh, yet to paint kind of addicted to building them but they take a long time to paint so <laughs> you know they pile up they pile up anyways i'm gonna be back later ggs oh yeah i said ggs i usually say ggs when i uh when i'm gaming uh yeah have a good day later